This video is sponsored by Waymo. What's up guys, I'm Jason Silva and I'm immensely passionate about technology being used to overcome our limitations. At its very best, technology allows us to transcend our limits, to overcome our boundaries. And on this note, there's hardly more exciting technology than fully autonomous driving technology. We're talking about mobility for all. We're talking about a company called Waymo. Waymo is an autonomous driving technology company that has created the world's smartest driver, the Waymo driver. Now, why is this important. Aside from the fact that this is fully autonomous driving technology, we live in a world, my friends, where 1.3 million people a year die from traffic-related accidents, 50% of which are pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists, all right? So this is 50 million injuries. This is a horrible thing. 94% of traffic accidents are human error. Human beings, we are limited. We have blind spots. We have perceptual limitations. We lack perfect situational awareness. Leveraging advances in machine learning and computer vision and artificial intelligence, we have literally with the Waymo driver a level of situational awareness, a level of prediction, a level of mapping of the environment that is unsurpassed, something we've never seen before. As Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, and the Waymo driver is indistinguishable, my friends, from magic. The experience unsurpassed 20 million miles driven on roads across the country, 20 billion miles in simulated environments. We're talking a game-changing revolution. The Waymo driver is going to change the world. Now, I had the opportunity to have a conversation with some of the genius minds behind Waymo and behind the Waymo driver. We had a conversation. I had a chance to ask a couple of questions. How does it feel for all of you guys to be creating something that sounds like science fiction made reality like a seeing perceiving predicting autonomous entity that can safely transport us when i came to waymo i thought this is going to become real this is happening i could see it happening uh, and i wrote in the waymo one and uh, it was sci-fi and i felt that you know that um, all of the work we were doing it was worth something i sat in it and then the car just drove us all over, no driver. It navigated all the complexities that you could see. Um, and I think that's that's where we are all in this together. That's why there is we have so much energy at Waymo because we know we are doing something that is truly going to change. It will be transformative for all of us. You know, I, I really think the, the entry point here is capturing the imagination of the passenger. Uh, maybe an adult first meets it with apprehension and fear first before they get curious, whereas a child might be curious first before they get nervous. Um, you're, you're exactly right. That difference between kids and adults, for instance, you feel the vehicle hesitating when you might hesitate and, and being decisive when you your muscle memory feels like it would be decisive. You could feel yeah. the vehicle's hesitation getting less and less until yeah. now. Yeah. It yeah. legitimately feels like it's doing what my body would do from muscle memory. The three different systems for providing, I guess, the situational awareness, you know, the LIDAR, the vision, and the radar, do they all kind of feed into a central hub or like feed into each other so that it's comparing the reading from the LIDAR and the vision and the radar to like cross-check and error check certain readings? Like, is that what makes it compound in its accuracy that those things work together? Yeah, you're exactly right. Okay. And so what you'll notice okay. for later on when we look at the demo of the trip, what we actually do for the user is we even show you the three-dimensional world that we are building together based on all of these signals together. We'll show you where we see a car, whether it's close or far away, when we detect a stop sign, when we detect traffic lights changing from red to green. In the way that we do that is by combining all of these three different sensors together and generating our view of the world. Right, I mean, when, when I hear the amount of computation, the amount of mapping and scanning of the environment with all of these three systems working together, plus the hard, the software component. You know, already that to me seems like a case to get rid of human drivers tomorrow. 
considering that over 90% of accidents are caused by human error, like over 90%. Now, as you can see, it was a fruitful conversation. And again, my vision is one in which we use technology to overcome problems. We use technology to extend our reach. We use technology to give mobility for all. And on this note, I couldn't be more excited about Waymo and the Waymo driver. Thanks, guys. Cheers.